Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to show you how to print white using your Roland BN220 and a few different software programs. We'll start by showing you how to create the white layer inside Flexi and then follow that up with Adobe Illustrator and then we'll close by showing you what settings to use inside Roland VersaWorks. Now let's go ahead and get started by jumping into Flexi. Included with your BN220 is a six month trial of Flexi and Flexi makes it very easy to print white. You can find the Roland White located down at the bottom of the screen. Just select the object you wish to change and click this box to make it the Roland White color. For this example, we will have some text in normal white and then another text in Roland White over a black square. We're also going to copy that text and put it above without the black square behind it. And we're doing this because if you look at the normal white once it prints, it actually doesn't print. You just have a blank spot. But when we use the Roland White, it actually does print white. And that's why it's very important to do this. When you're ready to print, you can choose to save it as a PDF file and then load it directly into VersaWorks, or you can send it directly into VersaWorks from Flexi using this button found at the top. You will need to make sure that you have the correct print settings for white, so make sure you go over the print properties before sending the job over. And if you're not sure what to select yet, then just wait for our VersaWorks portion of the video. Now let's head over to Adobe Illustrator. The first thing we need to do is load in our Roland VersaWorks color swatches. These are already included with VersaWorks and are located inside the VersaWorks directory folder inside your computer. Inside this folder, you can see the complete collection of Roland color libraries, but we only need to use the Roland VersaWorks option down at the bottom. This will have the white as well as the contour and perf cut swatches for when you need to create cut lines later. Double click the file and open up Illustrator and then open up the swatches window. Move your cursor to the bottom left of the swatches window and then click the library icon. This will open a pop-up list and you want to select save swatches and save them in the default swatches folder. With the swatches saved, you can then go into any project and just load them up from that same library button and then move your cursor to user defined from the menu and you should see it right there. And once you click it, it will open up a new pop-up window with all of those swatches inside of it. From there, you only need to start assigning the white as needed. We will make a similar print sample as before and once we're finished, we'll save the file as a PDF to load directly into VersaWorks. VersaWorks is the RIP software that is included with your BN220, so it will have some options for printing white as well. Inside VersaWorks, you need to go into the queue settings to set it to one of the white print modes. Move your cursor down to the BN220 queue of your choice, and then you want to click the gear icon next to the queue's name to open up the queue settings window. Inside this window, we want to select the quality tab from over on the left side of the screen. To access the white ink options, we will need to choose the media type as generic clear film. This is one of the default media profiles included inside VersaWorks that enables the white ink options and will work fine for our demonstration. The next step is to move your cursor down to the mode and select the desired print mode. The print modes you have are CMYK, which will only use the CMYK inks. Then you have CMYK, then white on top of it, after that is white with CMYK on top. And then finally, we have the all white print mode, which just prints everything in white. You will need to use one of the three options with white to print white. Next, we want to select the special color tab near the bottom of the window. If you're just using a file with no white and just want to add a little white without having to go into your design software, you have three options. You can choose to print white wherever the print area is, outside of the print area, or you can also add white to the entire image area. Once you've found the correct settings for your design, you can exit the queue settings and then begin printing inside VersaWorks, or use these settings that we just discussed and start printing directly from Flexi. If you have any questions about any of the products shown in today's video, feel free to contact us using the information shown here on your screen. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch this and have yourself a wonderful day.